Welcome back. June is Pride Month and it's a great time to carve out a space for the transgender community. Here to share more about how we can uplift the transgender community during this month, but also beyond that. We have the CEO and Executive Director and the President of the National Trans Visibility, Hope Giselle Godsey. Thank you for being here Thank for you Great for Washington. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is a big month. There's a lot of visibility Absolutely. around LGBTQ plus uh, goals, initiatives. Why is this month so important to you? For me, it's important because we get a chance to really showcase what it means to be people within the queer community mm -hmm. beyond what the media wants folks to believe about us. It's our opportunity mm -hmm. to kind of sort of take our narrative back, tell our own stories, and really give out into the world what we want folks to, to truly see about who we are as queer people. I know that you have been doing a lot of work, throughout, not just this month, throughout the year. You just yeah. received an award, a Capital Pride Hero Award yes. this month. What is that award for people who don't know? And oh my God. How did it feel to receive it? So it's an award from the community, the, the, the folks that see the work that I'm doing, the folks that like truly understand how hard it is sometimes to get up and fight the fights that folks don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. It's really tough to be the person that says the things that folks don't necessarily always want to hear, but helps yeah. to bridge those gaps. And it means a lot more to me that it comes from the community that you're working in and it comes from the people that you do the work for. And so it just felt mm -hmm. really amazing to be in that space and to get that award. It's got to be a highlight. We were talking before we went on air about social media just yeah. being such a place to pull you down. Yeah. I'm sure you get a lot of that. People in the community do. Any message for people who do feel like they need to share their opinions <laughs> with you? I think that before you share your opinion about me or any other trans person, that you have to recognize that humanity is the first thing that we should be acknowledging about people and not who they sleep with or how they show up in the world. If we can really hone in on the fact that people are going to be people and as long as those folks are not harming you, your family mm -hmm. or the way that you live, harming their way of life for the sake of trying to make a point doesn't do anything to you, you know, help your mm -hmm. cause. All it simply does is causes confusion and we don't need any more of that in the world. Yeah, 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 for sure. Sh share love, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't need to seek you out to, to say those things. Okay, so you're also in charge of a big march that's coming up in yeah. August. This is the National Trans Visibility March. How did you first get involved? So I was actually involved in year two. Marissa Miller and uh, Lynn Morrison, they called me in and they said, Hope we have a crazy idea. We want to put you on a trolley. <laughs> 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 we want to fill this trolley up with all of these trans people and we're going to ride around to all of the monuments and you're going to be our correspondent. You're gonna here, tell in the, here in D.C. Here in D.C. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to tell the people, you know, via you what is happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. And it was chaotic enough to just pull me in. I loved every moment of it. <laughs> year one was chaotic. <laughs> year one was chaotic. Year two was like the bee's knees of chaoticism. Okay. And now we're at, you know, year five. And I usually am waiting and anticipating that call from Marissa. Mm -hmm. And this year the call was different. And she said, I'm mm -hmm. stepping down. And I can't think of anybody oh, wow. that I would trust this march to more than you. And yeah. without a shadow of a doubt, I was willing to accept. And I, yeah. I love it almost as much as I think her and Lynn do. And I, I'm really mm -hmm. grateful to step into those shoes. There's some big shoes to fill, but yeah. I'm really grateful they gave them to me. I know we've been seeing some video of yeah. what happens at the march. What could people expect this year? Oh, this year we are bigger and better and we have a lot more initiatives going and so we have our uh, three pillars which are illuminate ed educate and advocate and those things are going to be ranging from topics around voting and voter suppression as well as sexual health and, and hiv awareness and not in the ways that people are typically used to hearing them especially as it pertains to this community so uh, there's a, a, a huge youth component and making sure that the youth within the community are heard and not from their parents not from us but from their perspectives and, mm -hmm. and how they want to be seen and how they want to show up so this march is going to be bigger better and grander especially with some of our sponsors like mac and um uh, chase and td bank wow. coming back in yeah, so, yeah that's great i know there's so much more that you could tell us about yeah. it um we have a website you can go to learn more about mm -hmm. it you go to national trans visibility march.org Th hope thank you for being here for having appreciate me. it and great day we'll be right back